Hello everyone. So I thought I would do a little video of uh, my lock inventory basically and how I came about. These are the, the brass. Over here I have the laminated. So <clears throat> in my former job I started um, I, in the military I had bought a lock pick set. It was from um, South Ord. And I believe I've got the case right here. It doesn't have a model number on it, but that was my first pick set. And for many years I had it, but I didn't use it that much and kind of forgot about it. And only in the last two or three years, I basically I had a master lock number three. And uh, I was sitting there um, messing with it with the pick set and I got it open. I don't know why it had taken me so long, you know, to uh, to open it, being that they're master locks and they're pretty easy, but that got me addicted to lock sport, basically. Um, after that, I wanted to try it on other locks, and uh, I started learning, I basically started buying locks, and then I, when I got a little bit better at picking, especially like master lock and the cheap Chinese locks, I, um, my the word got around basically at my uh, company that I could pick locks and uh, supervision basically started employing me as uh, an employee has been terminated or whatever and uh, they left and they left their locker the lock on their locker and they're gonna cut it off normally they would cut it off like this they just you know use a cutter but uh, once they knew that I could pick them they uh, basically uh, would use me as their locksmith, and uh, my only reward for that was, for, yeah, I get to pick a you know a lock open, but I also get to keep uh, the lock you know that they were normally going to cut. Now, in some cases, like this one, the the woman that uh, this lock was locked up on uh, was standing right beside me, and she was very pretty. And I hadn't picked locks very often, and I couldn't get it open with her standing. <laughs> I didn't say I couldn't get it up. I couldn't get it open <laughs> with her standing there. And so they had to cut the lock off, and she gave me this lock afterwards. As soon as she gave me the lock, I walked away, and I opened the thing up within like 10 seconds, you know. So it was definitely performance pressure on that one. But the rest of the time, I just bought locks. I bought all these other locks, and uh, I have um, Brinks locks and Master locks. I don't have a big uh, selection of locks here. And this one, I ha actually have a, a lock body because I screwed up the core. But I like learning to pick locks, and uh, this is my American tubular lock, my only American lock. I love American locks. Um, but I've learned something from just about every one of these locks and this one here is a, a wafer lock that uh, was on something that they were gonna furniture they were gonna throw away this is actually from my vehicle uh, center console it uses the same key as your ignition and uh, when my car was my Jeep was broken into they uh, beat the shit out of this and finally just pried their plastic open uh, so it's pretty hard to get into there uh, but that was just something to practice with you know and then I have these um, Sparrows progressive kit I just got the two and five pin one and you can take them apart they're Schlage keyways I've also got the Sparrows reload kit so uh, I learned how to you know like cut cores and stuff and you got the master lock 140s and 150s and the Brinks uh, this is the biggest Brink and then the Ace Hardware um, padlock. So there you go. It's not huge and extensive. Oh, I wanted to cover these. These are some Chinese locks that I found walking around the apartment complex. Apparently, they had used them to uh, lock up power meters there at one time. And then, since they never uh, uh, came out and used those power meters or whatever, they painted the the maintenance people whatever had painted over them years ago 
and the locks had never been used basically and uh, many of them were just lying on the ground there just sitting there so rather than throw them away I took them and uh, these locks if you clean them up and get the paint out of the way I think what I did on this one right here if you clean them up and get the paint out of the way and get the core to be able to move you can actually pick them it's only like a single lock and shackle but I believe there's like five pins in there it's a pretty easy pick. The easiest way to get past these is a bypass. Uh, that's what I discovered with these locks, how to basically bypass a padlock. These are very, very cheap dollar store, you know, uh, padlocks that you can actually core shim and get them open that way, amongst other things. But And they're plastic core, so what do you expect? Just like these Chinese ones over here. But the majority of locks that I would run into most time were master locks and cheap Chinese locks. So if you can get your confidence built up in those and work your way up to what's supposed to be hard locks. This is a master lock number five, and it's damn easy to open up. I mean, single pin pick, rake. Same with almost all of these. Uh... The ones that get, have given me the biggest challenge have been these uh, Ace padlocks here. And uh, this one is a 5-pin version. The Brinks has got a similar size. It's a 60 millimeter. Sorry, that camera doesn't want to focus. It's as blurry as my eyes are. Anyways, that's a Brinks. I don't know how I'd have to bring it up. It thinks it's right there. Something wrong. Maybe a bug on the on the focal plane. But um, this is only a 4-pin, and this is a 5-pin, and they both have spools. Uh, both are very fun to pick, about $10 or so for each one of them. So I've only recently discovered eBay, <laughs> which everybody knew about, and uh, getting lots of locks and stuff like that, because this is quite expensive the other way, you know, just buying them straight up buying them when you don't have a lot of money so there you go that's my collection for right now i hope to increase it eventually but uh i have a lot of fun picking these different locks and the only problem like i said with uh with having mostly master lock and commercial locks is you can think that you're really good at lock picking when and in reality you know like these guys right here i pin this guy up to a a six pin and uh, I could still rake it and stuff but single pin picking it's a lot more interesting with all the stuff I put in there mushrooms and all kinds of spools and serrated everything I could think of I haven't modified the cores you know like threading or anything so there you go that's my extensive <laughs> thing of uh, locks I'm not complaining, you know. Some people only have like one or two locks to play with. And, and no hands. And they have to pick with their feet. So I've got it pretty good, I think. Hope everybody's enjoying themselves and being well. And stay safe. And staying legal is up to you. It's not up to me.